Should young bell peppers be pruned? If so, where is the best place to make the cut? I've topped several young California wonder peppers last spring and the plants ended up being fuller and stronger than any I'd grown before. They also seem to be very productive, right? Thanks, and this is Brendan, Wilton, Connecticut. So, the first question, should they be pruned? And the second question, if so, where? Yeah, so I would, um, I would say that it is an option, but it is not in the option. scope of our like okay. traditional, this is how you okay. manage uh, peppers. This is an interesting question for me oh, because, is. you know, coming from a vegetable background, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I, I literally just, you know, watched some videos to see how people were pruning peppers because it's, I mean, I've done it a lot in greenhouses, right? Okay. So it okay. is a common practice in hydroponic production, but we do that to manage kind of the scaffold and the main, right. Right. Um, the main limbs uh, of the plant. And so really what people are doing when they're pruning is trying to increase that side shoot production and maybe shorten the plant a little bit. I've seen it done more on some of our hot peppers that tend to be kind of taller okay. and more leggy. Yeah. And so my first reaction would be um, maybe the plants are being put in the ground over mature. Maybe mm. they're a little bit tall. Maybe okay. they're a little bit leggy. I would tend to say, you know, put good young transplants in the ground and kind of let them uh, do their okay. thing. Um, the, but the other element about that that I would say is it would be more likely to be effective. Um, and I'm not saying that it won't. I'm right, just saying right. it's not really traditional practice. Okay. It would be it's more, an option. Yeah, right. it's an option. It's an option. It would be more right. effective if you had a longer growing season. Okay. Because anytime we um, take the main growing point out of the plant, we're encouraging it to produce side shoots, yeah. but we're delaying the productivity of that plant. So I think our, you know, our question came from, from Connecticut. Yeah, so, Connecticut. you know, the more northern that we get and the shorter the growing season, the more I would be concerned that you may not have enough time in that growing season for mm -hmm. the plant to produce as much vegetative and flowers mm -hmm. and fruit production as it would have if you hadn't taken the top out. Mm -hmm. So it's not just straight up productivity. It would also be a timing. Be a timing element. issue. Yeah. 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 But, don't think about yeah, Connecticut. Yeah. yeah. They don't have the yeah. long growing season but, that we have. Here. Yeah, but you know the you know the scientist in me just wants to say, well, I just need to do it. You know, I right. need to try some, but I have not grown them side by side. So, um, so you know, it would be an option, but I wouldn't do it. You know, as a as a reflex, probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. So where would you make the cut? Yeah. So most of the time, if you're going to be taking that you know primary growing point okay. out of the plant, you would come down a little bit on the stem. Now make sure that you leave a few leaves because that's going to be oh, where yeah. your side shoots yeah. are going to be. So I'd make sure that you have at least, you know, two, three, four leaves that are going to be where those okay. side shoots um, are going to be. And most of the time we'd make that cut actually similar really to any pruning cut. We're going to make it above a bud. Oh, so yeah. then that's like going to, you know, kind okay. of become our, our primary. Okay. So to grow out of there, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But again, <laughs> it is an option. <laughs> yeah. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have hundreds more. To subscribe, just click below.